Servus Freunde, my name is Jimmy Cage and 892 is another brand new movie that I just saw at this year's Sundance Film Festival. It's an American drama slash thriller that marks the feature film debut by director Abby Damaris Corbin, who also co-wrote the screenplay. It's based on true events and tells the story of a desperate man who takes desperate measures in a tragic attempt to make his voice getting heard. John Boyega portrays the Marine War veteran Brian Brown Easley, who decides to rob a bank and hold hostages with a bomb. Only that he isn't after the money, but there to tell his story. The first 20 or 30 minutes of this movie were pretty fantastic. Abby Damaris Corbin gives us a small glimpse into this man's life and then immediately ramps up the tension when Brian is entering that bank, determined to go through with his plan. It's not like you have never seen a robbery and hostage situation as tense as this before, but it's quite effective. And what you haven't seen like this before is John Boyega, who gives an incredible performance. It's not just this intensity, but also the vulnerability and confusion he brings to the role. This isn't a cold-blooded terrorist, but a deeply hurt human being. Someone who is clearly suffering from some post-traumatic stress. After that introduction, I was keen to be on the edge of my seat and also be moved by Boyega's heartfelt portrayal of this troubled young man. But then, slowly but surely, the movie lost me, as it's not able to keep or increase that tension and it's also not really able to unpack the full experience that this man went through. Maybe it's giving away too much too early, but I felt as if we don't really get to learn much new for the rest of the movie or that we don't really get into the meat of it. There are some brief flashbacks, but they don't really add anything of substance or anything that we didn't know or already assumed. Very early on, you already know the three important facets of Brian's life. He loves his daughter, he has been traumatized by his war experience and he has been screwed by the VA, the US Department of Veteran Affairs. Director Abby Damaris Robin's noble intentions are clear and commendable. The way veterans are treated by the country they fought for, how bureaucracy can screw you, how you need to make a bomb threat before you get hurt. And yet, the movie misses to make a real impact, besides Boyega's powerhouse performance, which is easily the best thing about it. 892 also struggles to tell the story of what's going on outside of the bank in a more gripping and cohesive way. This conglomerate of media, police and other players. It's there, but it's also kind of a mess. Which is partly intended, I guess, but the back and forth of who's in charge and who's endangering the situation and so on, it's strangely enough not really adding that much to the movie's thriller aspects, but comes across as kind of random. It's of course great and bittersweet to see the late Michael K. Williams once again in one of his last performances, but the dynamic and bond between him and Brian comes far too late and isn't that deep either. So, unfortunately, I was rather disappointed by this one, with the exception of Boyega's portrayal. I give 892 5 out of 10. It's more like 5.4, but I don't do that. Alright, that's it for today. You can hit me up on Twitter, Instagram and Letterboxd, and also on Patreon, simply at the Jimmy Cage. And if you enjoyed this episode, please give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, whatever you like, and make sure you hit that bell for all I have to tell. Mm -hmm.